What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos. Tonight I wanted to bring you guys an Android tutorial. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I was very much involved in the Android scene for a long time. I developed for a number of devices starting with the HTC Incredible, then moving to the HTC Thunderbolt, and then finally the Galaxy Nexus. So I picked myself up a uh, Motorola X Developer Edition on Cyber Monday when Motorola was offering the $150 off full retail deal. And um, I did it mainly because I was kind of sick and tired of having to find exploits to get my devices rooted. Um, I really liked my experience on the Galaxy Nexus. You know, basically download the Android SDK and do a fast boot OEM unlock and you were in business. Um, the Galaxy S4 had early uh, versions um, of root available for it and then uh, those root methods stopped working I believe as of Android 4.3 so I just got sick and tired of waiting around for exploits uh, to be able to really utilize my device in the way that I wanted it to so uh, I went with the developer edition device now tonight I'm going to show you guys how to flash the uh, stock uh, factory images for the Motorola X now, why would you want to do this? So, of course, if, if you're watching this video, you probably have uh, some knowledge about the Developer Edition. And essentially, the Developer Edition does not require a exploit to unlock the bootloader. You can go through a process with Motorola through their web interface and then uh, to, on your PC to unlock that bootloader. Then you can install a custom recovery. You can push um, the super user and sue binaries to the device and essentially root it without any exploits which is phenomenal now say for instance uh, you want to flash a custom ROM or a kernel or anything really it's not going to void your warranty which is awesome um, now you may want to return to a factory experience if you tried out a custom ROM or a kernel or all different mods and you just want to go back to the way things were at a stock experience this is going to help you do that alright so I'm going to show you how to flash these uh, system images now uh, you've got to request uh, these factory images from Motorola. Now, of course, on a lot of the forums, they're going to um, post a lot of these factory images. I requested mine directly from Motorola. They sent me an email. Within that email was um, all my fa uh, Google Drive download link and then, of course, all my factory images for the KitKat version of um, the uh, Motorola's operating system, which is very close to a stock Android experience. Um, I love a lot of the tweaks that Motorola did actually for the Motorola X um, but we can save that for another video so I'm actually going to show you how to how to flash these stock images tonight however one caveat is they allude to using or having to use a Motorola specific fast boot for this whole process the only problem and they reference this in the directions the only problem is they don't include it they say they do but they don't so I'm going to also include a link as well as a link to the step-by-step -step instructions in the video description below. Um, the link to the Motorola Fastboot for Linux, I'll have a downloadable version in the video description so you can get uh, your hands on that. And I'm going to show you step-by-step -step on how we're going to do this. So let's get to it. Okay, so we are now at our computers and I'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step process involved in flashing the factory KitKat images to your Motorola uh, X Developer Edition. So first things first, we're going to need to put the device into fast boot mode. And in order to do this, it's very simple. All you've got to do is power off your device. Then you need to hold down the volume down and power key simultaneously for roughly three to four seconds, and then release them both. Once you do that, your phone's in fast boot mode. Then you're going to plug in your uh, USB cable that should be, of course, attached to your computer, and uh, we'll be ready to go there. So I'm going to assume you've done that. Also, make sure that you've downloaded the specific Linux uh, Motorola Fastboot. I, again, have included a download link in the video description. You cannot use the Fastboot that comes in the Android uh, SDK. You have to use the Motorola-specific Fastboot. Uh, also, I'm going to assume that you've downloaded the Motorola factory images for your device. You can either request them through Motorola, and again, I'll include a link in the video, in the video description for you to do that, uh, or you can pull them down off of one of the various forums that are out there um, for Android. So once you have everything downloaded, I'll open up my file manager, and we're going to take a look. If you've gotten your download directly from Motorola for the factory images, for the KitKat images, it should look just like this or something very similar. 
uh, to extract everything it's just a zip file you can right click and hit extract here instead of having this big long name for the directory um, for simplicity purposes I've renamed it Modo you should have two directories uh, within this particular file um, one of them again is going to be a big long name to make things simple I just renamed it to Modo Sys all right so I've already put the Linux fastboot file within the Modo Sys directory along with all of the images we're going to be flashing just so um, we don't we everything can be in the same path it'll be a little bit easier that way so first things first we're going to launch up another terminal here and make sure to watch this in um, 1080p so you can see all of the commands that I'm actually going to be doing a lot of it's actually going to be copy and paste rather than having to type everything out so make sure you watch it in uh, HD so we want to make sure fastboot works first okay um, you don't want to try flashing something to your device and um, having fastboot not work so let's test that out but we're gonna put ourselves within the proper directory first so let's list out everything in my home folder here we want to put ourselves within the moto directory list everything out and then uh, we want to put ourselves within moto sys and as you can see here there is fastboot so um, to execute fastboot we're going to type sudo uh, period forward slash um, fastboot and then devices supply your password and it should have your uh, device listed with a number and then the word fastboot so if that's there uh, you know we're in business for fastboot next I'm going to direct you guys to a web page okay this particular web page is right from Motorola's website alright so this is where you would actually recommend the um, or request your system image okay so of course it's going to be you know uh, Moto X for the GSM dev edition um, Moto X for the Verizon so on and so forth it's gonna tell you how to do all this stuff unzip the image put your device in fastboot mode follow the flashing steps in the XML file I'll show you guys that real quick so if we come back into this directory there is an XML file here and it's going to tell you how to flash everything and in what order um, the website the directions listed here is the same as that XML file so it's a, it says a typical flashing sequence includes all of these partitions but might vary depending on your product so please use the sequence in the XML file again for the Motorola X the Verizon variant the sequence here is the same thing so um, again uh, we're gonna type sudo period forward slash fastboot and then we want to type flash and in this case it's gonna be um, partition gpt dot bin alright and we're gonna hit enter okay everything flashed okay there and everything looks like it went through just fine um, and we're gonna go through one at a time and again back to terminal sudo period forward slash copy and paste in this next command okay it says okay and that's good um, let's see here next we're gonna do our bootloader period forward slash actually we forgot sudo okay it's gonna reboot into the bootloader after you do that which is fine again next sudo period forward slash then the very next command here if you're unsure of how to copy and paste into the terminal you you hit control shift and then V will copy and paste into terminal Okay. Next, we are doing our boot image. On your device, it should say something like, uh, it should list out whatever you're flashing, and then underneath it, it should say the word done. 
Now, this next step, if you have a custom recovery installed, okay, um, I am not going to flash the stock recovery because I want to keep my team win recovery on here. Um, so you can skip this step if you have a custom recovery installed in your device and you want to keep that custom recovery. Uh, if not, then you can re uh, install the factory recovery image. Okay, so I'm going to uh, skip that step. I'm going to go right to flashing the system image. System image is the largest of everything you're going to be flashing, so this may take the most time. Now, while this is flashing, I will say, having used a Nexus device before, um, getting this unlocked was much more involved than my Nexus device. Again, with the Nexus device, it was as simple as fast boot OEM unlock, and it would unlock the device. Uh, and then, of course, you would just download your recovery and flash and so on. Um, with this, you've got to get certain information off the device. You've got to plug it into a web interface. Then you're going to get uh, an email with an unlock code. You know, it's, it doesn't make it impossible. It's not hard to do. It's just a lot more steps involved. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. I wish they would have made it a little bit easier, although I'm very grateful that uh, I can unlock my bootloader and not have avoid my warranty. So we're still flashing um, the system on your device. It, sh it should say something like downloading and then so many bytes. And as you can see here in the output in the terminal, it says OK after um, each system write, so we know everything's going well. OK, cool. So that's all done. Just finishing up here now. I'm also going to erase all the data on my device. And I'm also going to erase the cache. If you erase the data, it's going to erase everything. So just keep that in mind. So we've basically flashed everything um, onto our Motorola X Now Developer Edition. Um, that's going to put the device to the, the bare stock KitKat experience from Motorola. And the only thing we left out in this sequence for me was the um, recovery because I want to keep my team win recovery on there. So aside from that, uh, if you want to relock your device, you could do that here by uh, fast boot OEM lock. Um, I'm, I want to keep my bootloader unlocked. And now all we have to do is a simple fast boot reboot to reboot our device. Once you execute fast boot reboot, your device should now uh, reboot. If your bootloader is unlocked, uh, you should now have the white screen that says warning uh, bootloader unlocked. And now uh, it should bring you through the normal boot process. And then have, you should have now a Motorola logo um, and so on and so forth if everything went through just fine. So that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, that's, that's the process on how to get your Motorola X back to the stock KitKat experience. Maybe you flashed a custom ROM, maybe you flashed some kernels, um, and if you're like me, you really enjoy a stock experience on a device. Um, me particularly, I, in, I really, really like what Motorola did here with uh, KitKat. The only thing uh, I usually do is I 
remove the bloat off of the device after I restore it back to stock. So I pull things out like all the Verizon apps, I pull out uh, things like that. And I'll do another tutorial on how to do that. I may actually put a script together that'll automate that whole process and, and de-bloat the Motorola X uh, for you that you can flash in recovery. Um, but we'll see. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That helps me out. Reshare it on Google+, favorite it, um, share it on Twitter. Uh, anything you guys can do to get the word out there, uh, the more information that's shared, the more that we empower people and um, we can make our experiences our, on our devices that much better. So uh, subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content, both Android and Linux. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.